well over a million volts with a lot of power behind it. If that were 60 cycle alternating current and the charge should go through my body to ground, there's no question as to the result. It would be instantly fatal. But we've changed the frequency from 60 cycles to 65,000 cycles. And at this frequency, a lot of power can be taken through a human body. We use the aluminum sphere on top of the transformer merely as a discharge point for the high voltage. With the assistance of Mr. Metzger, I'm going to stand in direct contact with the transformer, permit the voltage to pass through my body and out through my fingertips. The demonstration is not an easy one, but it is one which illustrates our point in such a way that I hope you'll never forget. To be in direct contact with the transformer, I must remove my shoes. It is necessary to provide metal caps for my fingertips to prevent serious burn and to provide points of discharge for the high voltage. Power. Lights. On. If there's any question in your mind about the amount of power that went through my body, I think this next demonstration will answer the question. It takes power to set a two by four on fire. Power. Lights. Off. There are two reasons why we must be born again. We've discussed one. Man is out of harmony with God and separated from him by a wall of invisibility. Bended in air by the electromagnetic force of what is actually a transformer. The ring being in effect a one turn shorted secondary. A smaller ring will react even more violently. Here is another ring. This one made of a material we say is non-conductive. And it is completely unaffected. Here is another example. Several thousand watts of power were involved in that spark. If we replace the spark gap with a copper coil, the same power now flows through the coil. It's invisible, has no effect on many substances, but it can generate a lot of heat. Wood, paper, things that we think of as being quite inflammable are not affected at all. However, a piece of steel wool bursts into flame instantly. Did you ever fry an egg on a coal stove? It's no trick at all to have the right equipment. This is a cold hot plate. And because it's cold, you can make it out of wood, if you like. Just be sure that there's a coil of wire inside and that you connect that coil to a high voltage alternating current source. The rest is easy. As long as we're being different, we'll use motor oil instead of Crisco. The egg fries very quickly, but the stove remains perfectly cold. In fact, if you wish, just to keep it handy, 
you can fry your egg on the morning newspaper. With a gadget like this, you can get up in the morning, sit on the stove, read the morning newspaper, and fry the eggs in your lap. Another example of the fact that physics, that is, if we use an electronic voice. The trick is to find the one note that will break the glass. We can determine this by placing a coin in the glass and then tuning the frequency until resonance is reached. this frequency, if we bring the glass into the direct sound beam, it shatters instantly. The sound becomes a very real thing when it is in tune with the glass. Did you ever get a good sound?